if you take a tester, you remember you made it in class 6? So, again you can play some games. You can take a tester, electric wires, a bulb and a cell. Now, what you do is the two ends of the tester connect them through the cell and the bulb. The moment the circuit is complete, you will find the bulb starts glowing. So, what does that mean? That means, this part that is the metallic part can conduct electricity. Okay. Now, repeat the experiment on the handle and what you will find is this time the bulb will not glow. So, what does that mean? What is the conclusion? The conclusion is metals are conductors of electricity while wood or plastic is insulator. Now, you must have understood why the electrical wires are made up of generally copper sometimes aluminum because both of them are conductors of electricity, but they are covered by plastic because otherwise live wire can be very dangerous it can give you electric shock. So, for protection it is covered by plastic cover because plastic is an insulator which means a non conductor of electricity. So, we know that electricity can pass through some solids like metals, but then can it pass through liquids also? Yes, it can and this time instead of cell you can take battery and then you can even take iron nails or electrodes of some old battery and dip them in water all right and then connect in similar fashion. Now, when you pass the current what do you find? If it was normal tap water the bulb will glow or it may not glow. Now, why it is not glowing? There could be many reasons. One reason could be bulb is fused. Another reason could be connections are tight or the tester is faulty. So, connect all these things and see what is the reason for not. There can be another reason also and that is that though electricity is being passed through tap water, but not enough. Now, you want your bulb to glow. So, what will you do? You can add a little of salt or an acid. A natural acid will also do like vinegar or lime juice and then when you will complete the circuit as I will just show you, you will find that bulb is glowing. All right, before that why bulb glows in first place? You know the bulb has a very thin wire. So, when electric current passes through it, it produces heat. Initially it produces heat. As that wire gets heated up, it starts glowing and it starts emitting light. So, the form of energy is changing from electricity to heat and finally to light, but it must generate enough heat only then the wire will glow. So, what is the conclusion? The conclusion is that almost all substances conduct electricity, all liquids conduct electricity, but in varying degree. So, is it right to say that insulators and conductors these terms are not really the correct terms. It should be good conductors and the poor conductors.